Tonight we're hearing more concerns about police looking at videos from the ring cameras on people's front doors. A group of civil rights leaders say that they are worried about CMPD and other agencies using them. Our Washington correspondent Blair Miller is joining us tonight. And Blair, you looked into their biggest complaints about this. Yeah, Scott and Eric, as you guys know, several agencies there in Charlotte have access to the cameras, including CMPD. You've reported on some of the privacy concerns before, but now elected officials nationwide are getting an earful saying that partnership goes too far. With the simple ring at the door, it leads to high quality convenience from this camera that's attached to your home. The cameras are activated by motion and can be viewed by the owner through this app. Amazon is behind Ring and says more than 400 law enforcement agencies across the country are able to use the videos with owner consent to help with investigations. Charlotte Mecklenburg Police and other departments in the area have access to the cameras. CMPD's deputy chief recently explained to city council how the cameras work. And really it's a digital neighborhood watch that allow police officers and law enforcement and the public to access information free of charge. But this week in a letter to elected officials in cities and states nationwide, 40 civil rights groups raised privacy concerns about the access police have, saying it's a catch-all for anyone walking or driving by. In the letter they write, with no oversight and accountability, Amazon's technology creates a seamless and easily automated experience for police to request and access footage without a warrant and then store it indefinitely. I think that it's a huge deal. Right? Malachi Robinson is one of those on the letter and says access to the videos goes too far. And it's being used to not help people, but over police people. Um, instead of investing this money in programs that people need, like our failing schools or infrastructure or job programs. And today I asked Amazon if they have information on just how effective these cameras are in truly solving crimes. They pointed to some local examples across the country, but no overall numbers to share. They did tell me they dispute many of the claims in that letter, Erica, and say they're working with police to control and protect privacy. So Blair, what does this group behind the letter want to happen from here? Well, they want a lot to happen, Erica. In places like Charlotte, they're asking elected officials to end that partnership with police. But they're also just trying to get awareness out there, hoping citizens who have concerns will voice those concerns. Erica? Blair Miller reporting live from D.C. Thank you.